everyone my name is Rosie this is my first video and um, I just figured I would give you an insight of how my diamond painting has gone this is my first diamond painting and as you can see it's really quite large and it's about 45 to uh, 45 and 75 centimeters um, big uh, I didn't realize it was going to be as big when I purchased it. Of course, I should have checked the measurements properly. Uh, I do have it covered right now. I just want to give you, because I am mostly done, I want to give you a quick, pic, the quick, small little picture of how it looks before I unveil the almost done piece. So I have the picture right here in the corner. I know it's quite small, you can't really see much of it, but I will show you the big grand picture. Uh, I don't have a workspace right now because it's, uh, I thought I'd give it a try before, uh, before I actually get myself set up for a better, uh, uh, better seating area and whatnot. And as you can see, you can see my little uh, baby girl's toys around here. Uh, I started this because I was pregnant, I had nothing else to do, and I was on mat leave. So, uh, this is the first piece, and here we go. So, I'm just going to unveil it slowly by slowly, of course. So, I know it's there's a little bit of glare. I am sitting close to a window. So, I'm just slowly going to unveil this beauty. Okay. And there you go. Close up of it while we move upwards so all this has been done already and these are the circular diamonds these aren't the square ones uh, I did find that they are a little bit harder to work with just because they don't sit side by side with each other exactly so you'll see like little gappings um, little gappings in the diamonds that uh, things can get stuck in so what I wanted to do is once I was done this piece I was going to do spray a coat of clear which will seal everything in um, right here you can see I am still working on the end over here and the glue is quite sticky and I'll let you know where I did purchase this. It's a beautiful piece. Okay. So all this I still have to do. And once I'm done, I will make another video of the clear coat that I use. And once it's done, uh, we'll do some framing because of course my mom wants it now. And which I don't mind. It just gives me more space to do other work, and I don't have I don't have much storage space. So there's another thing that I wanted to I learned off of others, and um, I purchased storage that I have here, and it's like a suitcase. It's beautiful, and. Teta. So they did. I didn't do an unveiling, of course. Unfortunately, I didn't think about it. But um, uh, they did come in little baggies, almost like these, but without the uh, ziplocs here. Um, so the first thing I did was I got baggies from the dollar store and I put these little numbers on them, just based on the the pieces numbers but and then I found that it was a little bit harder uh, just because every time I have to open it up and I'm trying to pour it properly and doesn't spill everywhere so I, I figured I'd go and purchase this little casing so they come with the little containers okay and I basically just poured them in and they also came with these circular um, uh, like stickers uh, they came with it. I know you can buy them on dollar stores and um, I have seen m other types of stickers that you can maybe purchase and whatnot, but I still have quite a bit left over from this piece. 
so I don't think I'm going to be needing it for for a bit now. Um, I'm I am a beginner, so I don't have much how everybody else I see on YouTube has. So pretty pretty much these are this is for a beginner. Um, so this I did not like so. I put that away and pretty much if I have any leftovers after finishing this piece, I'll put them in the baggie uh, into a bigger Ziploc bag and just store them away. And so, yeah, so this is how I have a 60 uh, case one. Uh, I believe there's a 30 and a, a bigger one. I think it was like 120. I knew I didn't need that much. I wasn't going to have that many colors. Um, so, yeah, basically that's and they're just spin-offs and you just take it off and you can close back up and twist right and they have a little bit of a pocket here that you can store whatever you have i have the basics that the um the piece came with which is just a a normal uh pink one which is a singular and i believe there's a three dot one uh i don't use it i really don't like it much um and then just a green container right here like this i did get these little grips at the dollar store i had them for before um i found that uh i i'm i'm doing the piece for a really long time so i felt like my fingers were get, like starting to hurt and i have this weird little dent in be in my finger here um i use i do hold my pencils like this so it it gives me that little dent, which I didn't, I don't want. So I put the grip on there, which I got from the dollar store. Um, and then afterwards, I thought, hey, these little, these little, uh, if I can find it here. So the piece came with this little rubber thing that you kind of pick off to use to uh, put it onto this sticky glue on the piece um i like it i don't mind it but i feel like it does come out very easily the more you use it the more you press on the pe uh, uh, diamonds it comes out i didn't really like it too much so i did purchase this little tool here and so this picks up on it pretty nicely uh, i can show you quickly here uh, if i can get this open and I am holding the, the camera, as you can see, uh, I'm on the floor, so it's not that um, great here to use one hand. But as you can see, I'm going to try zooming in here as I am using a GoPro, so it doesn't really help too much. But look, see, it picks up pretty nicely. I did not even press too hard. It was just a quick tap, and it's on. On the other side, there is this little tiny tool also. You do need to use this little thing to get in get in there for you to use it. But I don't use this side. I use, just use it to move the diamonds around the way I want to. So if it's not sitting too well, I'll just push it one to one side with it, like almost like a like a pick tool. But uh this is the little pretty little thing. So all these I actually purchased. Um, so this piece I pur purchased on Wish. Wish is something new that's coming out. And I realized that like I know whatever you purchase, it's cheap. So if it doesn't work too well, it's at your cost. And I find that like a lot of YouTubers were buying stuff that were like $20, $40. And... I wasn't willing to spend that much um, just because um, uh, I I didn't know how long I was going to do this for and if I'm going to keep the pieces. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'll buy it off of Wish and give it a try. So I did this, okay? And um, it actually came out quite well they gave me enough uh, diamonds to work with so it wasn't bad at all and it was perfect um my mom saw the piece that I, I was doing the piece at her house and she really wanted it so i said hey when once i finish it and i make a video 
I'll frame it for you, which I'll I'll do another video for. And then I was going to just give it to her. But my future pieces, I feel like there are a lot of people who do these videos. Sorry, they do um, want these pieces, but they don't have the time to do the diamonds. So whatever... Um, pieces that I do and I put a video out for uh, I will put a, dis uh, a description I, I, I am going to make a Facebook page if you do want the uh, finished pieces just let me know and we'll work something out and uh, maybe I can get that to you of course I am in Canada so it only works within Canada I'm, I'm sorry for the US um, viewers or anywhere else uh, other than that I do have one more piece I am waiting to work on. It's for my baby girl. It's a Disney piece. Uh, so I'm just going to try finishing this. And I'll come back to you guys with another video of the full finished piece. And in that video, I'll also show you um, which clear coat I used. That will get in between these little pieces here so that the glue... Um, uh, as you can see, there's like little gappings. It won't... It'll get in between there so that the glue does not get have other things getting stuck on there. And I do have a dog. So you'll see all the dirt here along the side here. Sorry, my hair. <laughs> um, you'll see all these little dirt around the sides here. Um, there's something new that I did learn about. It's the little tape that you put around there while you work on. Uh, I did not learn about it. I didn't do the research uh, until later when I started the piece. So it did, um, it, 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 I did get quite a bit of dirt there. And it, it is a, it is a good investment. And now that I've tried, tried the piece without doing it. So I think that my next piece, I'm going to purchase the tape just to put around there. So I don't get the dirt or, or dirt there. But basically, this is the beautiful piece. I'm going to try to get you a better view here. I know the little ceramic uh, is in the way. Um, I know Wish, everyone thinks that it might be cheap uh, glue and it's not going to stick too well, but it's really good. I had my dog claw at this and it stayed put. So I think it it, it is a good investment. As you can see, the beautiful peacock. And I found that uh, the bigger the pieces, um, I've actually heard someone say this and found out when, after I purchased my second one, is that the bigger the pieces, the more detail it has. And as you can see, look at these little, little like details. It looks like it's jumping at you. <laughs> but um, I'll, you'll see, based on my other video, that there is there is a... A detailed difference because that one's a little bit smaller I just it, I figured it would be harder to frame this one I think I might have to get something customs custom made or maybe even uh, try to go find something at like Michael's that fits this size or close to it and then make a border for it but I'll show you how to how I did everything and how I'm going to do it and whatnot in my next video uh, thank you for watching. My, again, my name is Rosie, and this is my first video. Hope to see you again, and thank you for watching. Bye.